community of Heston might be small, but it sure supports itself in a very big way. And we saw that tonight as hundreds came out to pray for this community's healing, a community that's still reeling from that tragic death here at Excel Industries. Well, it's just a nice little community. You know, people wave at everybody even if you don't know them. Heston people is showing its resilience. The community bouncing back after mass shooting at Excel Industries brought pain and grief to the small Kansas town. You always think, well, it won't happen here in a nice, quiet community, but we need to be aware that it, it can happen anywhere. Dave Weaver heard the gunshots, not knowing the alleged shooter was someone he had crossed paths with several times. Well, I heard two definite pop, pop, and then I heard about 30 seconds or maybe a minute later, I heard a volley that went, you know, like a like an assault rifle. In a small town, it's common to know everyone. Praying for the victims and the community kept Jeff Schultz up all night. And this was just, you know, an act of vengeance, sort of insanity, and somebody who really didn't have ties to the community just came for those people who had nothing to do with the problems he was having. Candles and balloons filled Heritage Park as the community came together to pray for the dead, the injured, and the heartbroken. I, I do feel lucky I'm alive, but at the same time, I, you know, I feel deep uh, regards and regrets towards people that lost their lives and the ones that were as injured as well. And there was a second vigil tonight at 730 right outside of this building, organized by the family of one of those victims.